Hello everyone, my name is Dilara Kırnapcı and I have been working at Trendyol as a software developer for a year. I have been a member of Seller Center mobile core team. Today we will talk about micro app architecture with my teammate Batuan. If we introduce the agenda, firstly we will talk about Trendyol and Seller Center, then we will introduce our micro app architecture. Hello everyone, my name is Batuhan uh, and I have been working at Trendyol about 5 years. Uh, currently, I am an engineering team lead at Seller Center Web Core team. First of all, I would like to give some information about Trendyol and Trendyol Seller Center. Trendyol is the most valuable tech company in EMEA uh, that provides an e-commerce shopping platform, platform to consumers. Uh, also last year, uh, we become Turkey's first tech accord. In a nutshell, Seller Center is a big platform used by Trendyol sellers, written with React Native. Uh, with Seller Center, uh, our sellers can can track some information uh, on dashboards such as order, product, and finance, uh, and they can man manage like uh, their products, orders, uh, and stores. Uh, let's take a look at uh, our team structure. Uh, in Trendyol Tech, uh, our goal uh, is to create a scalable organization uh, with autonomous, decoupled, and small teams. Uh, we are basically we are divided into multiple entities, uh, which is called a tribe, uh, and all tribes has a couple of teams, and. You can think uh, think of uh, each team as a full functionality uh, and independent startup. Uh, with these goals, uh, we are scaled vertically like this picture at the seller center. Uh, you can imagine uh, each product team has backend, frontend, and mobile developers who is working uh, who is working on a set of features uh, for a specific specific domain. For example, uh, product type uh, is just focusing manager products and finance team just providing a financial reports. Let's take a look at our simple and monolithic React Native structure. Uh, at the top level, we have our application business logic uh, like UI components uh, and some APIs written by JavaScript. At the mid level, as you can see, uh, we have the React Native framework as a bridge uh, to the native SDK. If you want to use any additional functionality which is missing in React Native, uh, like camera bridge or stuff like that, uh, you should implement this missing functionality, uh, or uh, you can add, add an external library. Uh, with this structure, uh, you may face a couple of different issues if you want to scale. Uh, let's take a look at the, our problems when we are growing. Our code base var, was very complex uh, when we are coding on a large code base uh, and monolithic repository. Uh, imagine that a couple of teams working uh, a same repository, opening pull requests, running on same pipeline, uh, it was horrible because each team uh, has their own development process, has own testing strategy or stuff like that. Uh, it was very horrible. Uh, so it was hard to work on single repository with many teams. Uh, also our team velocity has decreased uh, day by day. Uh, in a single project, uh, the ownership should be well, well defined, uh, but with monolithic application structure, uh, it's 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 not clear. Uh, it it was not clear. Um, it becomes hard to test our code uh, when other twenty developers pushing to the same repository. Uh, it it makes much more sense to be able to test. The smallest piece of code uh, that was changed uh, in an isolated way. So uh, with these problems, uh, we need to fix uh, something, and uh, we have some goals. Uh, 
uh, we need to create a clear boundaries across the team uh, and then end of the day uh, we are javascript developer uh, we are a front-end developer and uh, the future oriented teams don't need to know native code uh, just develop the business logic with javascript uh, including ui uh, we with isolated teams uh, each team's code base can be separated and each team has own development and deployment process uh, to increase the developer experience uh, developers should be able to develop while using the stable infrastructure code and apis for example push notification marketing tools uh, and camera apis should be ready to use across the all developers so uh, once we realized all of that uh, and understood how quickly we are growing uh, we came to the conclusion that it won't be possible to achieve our dreams with a simple react native web structure let's talk about the technical part basically uh, we divided monolithic application into micro applications as you can see in the main picture uh, firstly we will talk about the general structure uh, then we are going to dive into details um, here the first thing that we should mention about is the core app uh, the core application is the entry point of the application and created from config file um, it contains all native part of the application the native libraries android and ios builds and the second thing is micro apps um, there are multiple micro apps as corresponding our different teams and they use the core application as dependency. They only contain JavaScript parts and use JavaScript libraries. If we talk about details, the core application is the entry point of the application and uh, when the app is opened, uh, index.js file is run firstly. It provides an infrastructure to micro apps by managing native libraries, uh, so developers can focus on their own logic. It loads and runs micro apps by config file. Uh, the important thing that we can mention about is core app contains Android and iOS builds, uh, so micro apps can edit as a dependency and install the pre builds with their own development. It manages native libraries such as navigation, camera, push notification, or error handling. Uh, you can add any native and JavaScript libraries to core application and use them by micro apps. If you look at the package JSON of the core application, uh, you can see that all native libraries are managed. So you can decide main libraries such as navigation, push notification, error handling, uh, analytics or whatever you want and add your JS libraries. Uh, then you can add as dependency to core application. The main responsibility of the core application is loading micro apps. Uh, micro app manager class is used for getting micro app specific things like tabs, components, stacks, uh, deep links, or any other things. Uh, you can expand this file according to your micro app needs. Uh, these parts are provided from micro apps and we can describe as contract between core app and micro applications. We use React Navigation Library for routing in the application. Uh, the stacks are exported from microapp contract file and core application gets stacks of the microapp. The routing main structure is managed from core application. Um, if the micro apps want to use navigation, uh, they can use through the core application. Uh, all stack structure is completed on a single page in the core application um, and micro apps can use navigation as in the monolithic. The other important thing about core application is app previews uh, for Android and iOS. Uh, it can hold different variants of previews and they are published with core application as npm package. The micro apps use these debug applications and app runs fast with other micro app developments. Keeping debug builds in the core application provides a significant improvement in application load time. Uh, when we measure the running iOS script, uh, the monolithic application load time takes more than a minute, as you can see, uh, but for microapp architecture, the load time takes less than 10 seconds. 
and this makes this makes it much easier the development environment. If you talk about the details uh, about the micro apps, each micro application has own independent business logic. Um, you can create screens, images, um, API calls, UTS methods, stacks, or whatever you want from a uh, micro app uh, file. Uh, micro application has no native code, as we mentioned earlier. Uh, it contains only JavaScript parts. It has no direct communication, so it communicates with their own contract file through the core application. Actually, uh, each micro app has a micro app JS file, uh, and this file can be called contract of the micro app. Uh, the micro app exports its specific things uh, like methods, stacks, uh, deep links, components uh, from this file, and it communicates through core application by this file uh, with other micro apps. For communication between two micro apps, uh, you can export methods from one micro app uh, and the other micro app can use. For example, uh, you have a login micro app and you want to use login methods from dashboard. Uh, you can export your method that you want to use from login and dashboard can access this method uh, through core application and can use. If we take a look at micro app package JSON, uh, our JavaScript libraries are added as dependencies. Uh, we have our NPM packages like components, globals, and uh, we use ready for deployment text for version. We are going to mention about tech part in the development and deployment section. Um, each micro app will have the latest version of the R package thanks to NPM packages. Uh, and if one micro app want to use the other one, it can add as dependencies. Uh, you can see the core application is added as dev dependencies uh, because we only use it on development and testing, not in production. And it is also added as peer dependencies for using the same version of the core application in the all micro applications. Another part of the micro app architecture is our JavaScript libraries. Uh, our components, uh, global definitions, util methods were in the main application repository before macro app architecture. Uh, then they were separated from monolithic application and created as NPM packets for each of them. If one micro application needs the GS libraries, uh, it can use by adding as dependency. In our structure, we have a NPM package for bridging all micro apps and the core application. Uh, we called it as main application. Uh, main application has a config file uh, this config file contains micro app imports, as you can see. Uh, we added the core app and micro apps as dependency uh, to main application. Uh, core application loads micro apps with the config file, and we run and build the application through this main application. On testing part, uh, we use uh, Jest and React Native testing library. Uh, our monolithic application, uh, we have too many test cases uh, because all domains are in one repository. When we divide into micro apps, each micro app has own test environment uh, and test cases run so fastly. For example, uh, in our monolithic application, when we run test cases, it takes almost 350 seconds. Uh, but when we run for account application, it takes almost 50 seconds. Obviously, it takes less time because it only has own test cases. Uh, this makes it much easier to run test cases in the development environment. So, okay, uh, let's see how it works our model development process. Developers are coding own code base uh, and pushing code to own repository. Uh, this will tr trigger uh, a testing part, all the unit tests or end to end tests running on a pipeline. And then uh, we are taking modules uh, with RT, RT tag, uh, that means ready for testing. If developers want to see new features uh, on application with other modules, uh, they, need, they need to build main application and distribute it internally. Um, when our product said that, okay, it's great, uh, let's release it to the, our users, uh, let's see how we do this. 
all the developers needs to take uh, his well-tested and stable modules with RD. That means ready for deployment. Uh, and then we can build a main application with uh, all modules. After building the main application, we are publishing to Google Play Store and App Store beta programs. Uh, and then when our Q&A says everything is okay and stable after the smoke testing, uh, we can publish to Google Play and App Store. To wrap up in a summary, uh, we have 15 product teams with many developers uh, currently, uh, and all developers are JavaScript background. They are developing his features with just a JavaScript. And uh, we have clear infrastructure APIs across the teams and we speeded up development cycles for a continuous development. Um, so we are running so fast uh, as Dilara mentioned before. Uh, our build time and testing time is so fast according to the monolithic architecture. And we have platform team for develop the infrastructure and product-oriented teams for develop the features. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, you can reach us with this information uh, if you have any question uh, or concerns. Uh, so see you at Q&A section.